I recently had a great question by one of you. The question was just about the 10th house and transits that are going through the 10th house. Typically in a monthly I will talk about, you know, oh look, Mars is going through your 10th house. This is going to be great for your career. One of you has asked if we don't work and haven't had a career or a job for a long time, how do we then interpret the transits of the 10th house? If you'd like to know more about this, stick around. Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to my new old location. It's new because I haven't been here for a while. It's old because I used to do videos here all the time. So those of you who've been watching since 2018, 2019, you will remember this location. And those of you who are new, welcome. I am back in my old place and I'm ready to take on this question. So I thought this was a great question because I do have a lot of people who over the course of doing the channel have asked this a lot and sometimes I'm just too busy, I haven't been able to answer questions and things like that but now I'm getting back into my routine. Hopefully I can take on questions like this and just make a video whenever time opens up for me and today some time has opened up so I'm able to take on this question. Now the question is, and I'll just blur out the name just for privacy, but the question is um, if we don't work and haven't had a career or job for a long time, how do we then interpret the transits in the 10th house? great question because a lot of people are in this situation. I've got a lot of people for example who watch the channel who are retired. Okay so we've got a lot of people who are retired, we've got a lot of people who are between jobs, we've got a lot of people who and between jobs unemployed right some people will call themselves unemployed. Um, I always prefer the term between jobs, I always think that's better. Uh, some people, there are some people who don't have to work because they're so wealthy that you know that they just don't have to work. Isn't that amazing? There's that circumstance. Uh, there's often people who there's also see uh, to, to me. I never count for me being a, a mum. I would believe is the most important job in the world to me, and uh, that's how you know being a mum. I think mums do 10 times more work than everybody else in the world. So for, for me, you know, I, that's how I see that. But some people say, well, I'm a mum. I'm at home. I don't do career. Some, some people have written things like that in the, in the comments and they said, well, how do I interpret 10th house stars? So yeah, there we go. So these are all different circumstances. Um, there are some people, they don't, they don't want to work, right? For various reasons, they just don't want to work. There's that circumstance as well. If you follow human design, as I do, I do look up people's human design types just briefly in a reading. Uh, I'm by no means a human design professional or expert, but I know a few little things. And the six line is something I look up because if you're running a six line from age 30 to 50, you might be up on the roof and you might not be working as much as you used to say for example in your 20s you might have had quite a big corporate career and then you know you come to 30 35 and you're like oh well, I'm not working as much why is that well, that's quite natural if you're running a six line okay so how then do we interpret the transits in the 10th house so if I say oh look at that sun is passing through your 10th house this is great for career you can really shine and your uh, bosses will notice you and you'll be promoted and you know I'll be saying things like that in a monthly but you'll be thinking well but I'm not working how does that how does that work for me well how it works for you if you're in any of these circumstances retired between jobs don't have to work because there's so much money um, or you know you're married or you're a carer or any of these things what I want you to know is that there you are working Okay, there is some work that you are doing. All right, so let's take, for example, you're unemployed. We'll take, we'll take that example. You're not you're seemingly not working. I want to tell you, you are working. There, there will be something that you are responsible for. Okay, so 10th house Capricorn, you are responsible for something. So you are responsible for your room. 
let's say. Maybe you're living in your parents' house. Well, you are responsible for your room. You're responsible for cleaning your bed every day, organizing your cupboards every day. You will be responsible for looking after your physical body, looking after your physical health. Okay, that is work that you have to do. So everybody has work to do. Let's say you've got the circumstance where you're multi multimillionaire, you never have to work. Well, it, it, maybe, maybe you, you hire cleaners if you're not doing your own cleaning, right? I do all my own cleaning. I, I, I love it. That's, that's a, a part of my day. Um, you know, and I always will, I think, even if I had lots of money, I'm probably, I still like, I find, weirdly, I find cleaning to be very relaxing and fun. It's just me. But, you know, some people are in the situation where that maybe they are hiring people to do all of that for them. Well, you're responsible for them. You're responsible for the admin of, of looking after those people. They are your team. You are possibly, you know, their boss, right? So the 10th house is always operational. All houses are always operational. And what I'll do is I'll give you a case study example. I've got my trusty iPad. Whoops, I don't want to drop everything here. I'm getting used to my new old location. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw up a chart of a person. And this is just, this is actually somebody that I know in my outer circle. So this is, this isn't, and I don't think this person will be watching this video. I, yeah, very unlikely, which is great because they're a good case study for this instance, because I want to talk about what if you have 10th house stars and you don't work? You know, are, are these stars operational? And I'm going to tell you they are operational, okay? Even if you actively decide that you don't want to work in life. So I'm going to draw up the chart of a person who, as I say, actively doesn't want to work. Now, why doesn't this person want to work? I won't put too much on here, but I'm going to mark Aries as the ascendant. We've got Gemini there in the fourth house, and we've got Ketu in the fourth, and we've got Rahu in the tenth, right? And we've got Jupiter in the tenth. They're in Sagittarius. Now, let's say this person, this person is uh, Pisces ascendant, okay, Pisces ascendant, sometimes Pisces doesn't particularly want to work. Okay, and we're going to put Mars, what we're going to do is we're going to put Mars in Libra, all right. So there we go, Mars is lauded by Venus and this person doesn't really have too much interest in working out in the world. They don't, they don't want to do it. They want to be in their comfort zone in the Ketu comfort zone, which is they want to be at home, okay? That's where they want to be. That's where they want to spend all their time. And as I say, I know someone who's just like this. And this person told me that he went on a skiing trip, okay? He went on a skiing trip and he was describing to me the people that he was with on the holiday. I'm just checking the time. We're okay. Um, he was describing the people he went on holiday with and he described to me all these interesting dynamics that happened between him and these people. He told me he didn't really enjoy the holiday and I was looking at his chart and I knew that the reason he didn't enjoy the holiday is because those 10th house stars were operating. He, he described all these things that like, so he went skiing and it turns out he was a brilliant skier. He was better than all of them. And everyone kind of got a bit jealous of that. And they and the, every, people got territorial and then there were these little factions that formed and, you know, there was politics at play and, and they didn't like him because he was too good and all this kind of thing, right? And to me, I was just like listening to this story and I went, your 10th house stars were operating. And I said that I bet your holiday felt like you were at the office. And he thought about it and he said, yes, yes, that's exactly how it felt. It felt like I was at the office. It felt like I was at work. And that is an example of how you in life could decline work. 
you could actively decline work. I don't want to work. I'm going to turn down all the jobs. I'm going to be at home in my comfort zone, just do home stuff. But then you'll go on a holiday, you'll interact with the world and those work energies will form around you. This person, Jupiter, in own house, in the 10th house. This person is an expert at something. This person is really brilliant at something. And people may well be jealous of that, right? Um, Jupiter in the 10th house is, you know, can sometimes find it hard to be in a workplace because they are a know-it-all or an expert at something. And that can ruffle a few feathers. It can make people be territorial. But look at that. This person interacts with the world and these 10th house stars are operational, right? And all of a sudden that holiday felt like a career. Isn't that incredible? So look at that. Like even, even if you're not working, you will find if you've got 10th house stars, they, they are operating in some aspect of your life. And it can be things like, so you are out in the world, you're being seen, this person was seen and, and, and got praise, but then equally got kind of people were jealous and, and then factions formed and there were groups and territorial things and, you know, and he stands out as the expert, right? And, but then they didn't like that because he's too new and he's not allowed to be the expert. Sounds like work, doesn't it? It's just amazing. So look out for these things that, okay, you might not be working, but you will interact with the world in some way. Um, you, and it could be, you know, that you go shopping and I don't know, you, if, if you're running a great 10th house transit, you know, the sun is shining in the 10th house, maybe you receive more compliments. Maybe you get more stuff on sale when you're grocery shopping. Maybe things flow a lot better. Maybe all the admin of your life gets done a lot easier or, or something like that. But you will find that I believe, I mean, you know, even empty houses are operational, are on. You know, the Lord lives somewhere. The Lord is delivering something through that empty house. Sometimes empty houses can be wonderful, especially if you've got an empty seventh house, for example. That's a really good one to have empty because that's a house of marriage. And, uh, you know, it's good to not have too much interference or... Um, you know, karmic entanglements there in your seventh house. But guys, I just wanted to do a short little video about this. I hope this has been helpful just to say that, you know, if you're not working, look at your life, you, you are doing some form of work. And, um, you know, we, we, yeah, we all, we all do have, have work to do. And even though, you know, I, I, if I'm talking about sun in the 10th, I will mention career, but it's your work in the world or you interacting with the world. Okay, so you can scale these things to, be, to fit your life. Uh, and, and, you know, me too. I've got a very simple, small existence, you know, and, and I also have an empty 10th house there in my birth chart as well. So, but, you know, I'm working you know every day doing doing this channel doing readings which i love keep the readings coming keep the bookings coming guys thank you so much and i look forward to seeing you next time mm -hmm.